What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to MotoGP22 and welcome to Moto2. That's alright man, we're in Moto2, you can already see over there on the right hand side, we've signed up for VR46, if you missed all that then where have you been mate, where have you been, we did this a few episodes ago, hope you've been enjoying them, hope you enjoyed the end of the Moto3 season, we obviously uh, were champion, we did that way way before the end of the season, I think we still had four rounds left, did it in Mategi, um, which is realistic, you know, it's ha that happens in real life sometimes. Um, I didn't think we were going to do it that early, uh, and maybe we should have changed the difficulty a little bit to make it a bit harder, but it is what it is, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, Moto 2 time. Uh, unfortunately, I did un go through the kind of uh, where it shows you your teammates and does the little presentation thing, and I wasn't recording and I didn't even realise. So, apologies. That little cutscene is, uh, is is not going to exist, um, annoyingly. Uh, but yeah, I have jumped in. I haven't really done anything yet. Um, I did start toying around with some customization. Again, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't, so apologies again. Um, but we also, the first, first thing we'll do uh, is we'll do some customization, get uh, get it all looking good. I've, I've kind of got an idea of what I was going to do for now, because um, the eagle-eyed among you will notice that that is not the right livery. Uh, that is the testing livery. Um, there was an update to the game, probably by the time you see this, probably like over a week ago. Uh, and I even said on the channel, on one of the episodes about it, and I, I thought it was all of them, but it was just the MotoGP class, so the, the you know proper top class MotoGP. They're all up to date now, liveries, bike designs, rider leathers, you know, etc. Um, apparently they've not done Moto2 still, or not all of Moto2 anyway. So this is not right, obviously, this hasn't got the, uh, the Mooney sponsorship. The bike is actually normally grey with the, you know, Valentino Rossi uh, yellow and a bit of orange, I believe, on, on Mooney. Um, we can probably have a quick look. Should we have a quick look at, uh, if we come out of career mode, if we go back into quick modes, and then do new Grand Prix, select rider. Right and if you go into MotoGP and then we go to Mooney, and if you press the, um, on PS5, it's the, you know, the big, big square button in the middle, uh, and do a little showroom kind of thing. So this is what it will look like. This is the MotoGP bike, obviously, but that's what we're uh, going to be looking like in Moto2. They're basically exactly the same in real life, the, the designs at least, obviously the bikes aren't, but we don't have the wings and stuff, obviously, but um, that's the kind of vibe we're going for. It's a pretty cool livery. It's not as good as I think everybody thought it was going to be for VR40, VR46, but um, Valentino Rossi, but it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm not a big fan of the orange. I think that's the thing that puts me off, but everything else is pretty cool. Um, it's not a lot different to the, the testing livery, obviously, there's just a few extra little bits, but yeah. So, there you go, that's what it should look like. Hopefully we'll get that update sooner rather than later, so we can get some uh, nice nice thumbnails. Um, but yeah, so that's what it should look like. So anyway, without further ado, let's get back into career mode. Have a little look, you can kind of already see what I'm, uh, the idea I'm going for, customization-wise. Um, at the moment, we're gonna go, we're gonna rock this kind of blue, I think. I'm feeling the the kind of turquoise thing. For a helmet, we've, I'm using this arrow. It's just a, a default helmet in the game. It's pretty sick. I, I really like it. it. Probably one of my favorite colors is that light light blue, turquoisey blue. Uh, and obviously, this is the the high vis yellow, which matches all our um, Valentino Rossi stuff. So I'm probably gonna stick with that for now. But obviously, it is a default helmet in the game. So there is a pink one as well, but it doesn't pop quite as nice. So. Yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna go for for now. Um, I did download a few different ones, but we're sponsored by Monster, and that's our old helmet, obviously, from Moto3. It doesn't really look right with this gear. There's that Monster one, but the Monster logo is not quite right. There's just a green one, not ideal, that one. And then some of the Red Bull ones are sick. Like, whoever's been designing the Red Bull ones are awesome. They've got the proper logos and stuff, but we're sponsored by Monster Energy. So, there's this T-Salt one, t so t salt however you say it. Watchmakers, um, again, pretty cool, but kind of boring, just black and red. That's one of my favorite ones, but again, it's Red Bull, so I can't really use that. And then there is this monster one here, which sort of works with the green, but there's a number 34, 34 on the back. Uh, whoever made that one, obviously, is number 34. This kind of blue, red, purpley monster one, again, don't hate it, but I don't love it. Uh, and then this one was probably the one I was gonna go for. Looks like it was made by Evil Phil UK. Um, Again, it's got number 34 on the back, and I wouldn't mind if you could see it, but obviously we, we were looking at our back when we're riding like all the time, so you can pretty much see it all the time, so it's a bit annoying. And then there's these crazy AGV ones at the bottom. I'm not a big fan of all of them. Um, I don't really know what else to go for. So if you've got any designs on, I'm playing on PS5, so I assume it's any designs for PS, for PlayStation, that'll show up on here. But yeah, if you've got anything in particular that you think looks good, um, I guess give me the name of the designer. I suppose I should better figure out which 
I mean, that's pretty cool, that yellow and monster one. But yeah, if there's anything you've seen that's cool that you think might look good, then uh, let me know the designer name, I guess, and I should be able to find it on here, hopefully. But you can filter it by, um, oh, I pressed the wrong button, hang on. Uh, by pressing square, you can filter it and go to tag uh, friend's name. Yes, yeah, so you can put the name in there. You can do it by however many likes it's had. This is what I've been doing really, looking through all the, the most popular downloads because obviously they seem to be the best designed ones. There's a few cool monster AGV ones, but they're just not quite as, I don't know, they're just not. Well, that arrow one's quite cool actually. I didn't, that wasn't there last time. Not bad, not bad, kind of Johnny Ray. That is a Johnny Ray helmet, isn't it, pretty much? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not sure. There's a few cool ones on here, but then a lot of the cool ones have got numbers on the back. Again, that shark one's quite cool, but kind of black and pink is a bit, yeah, I don't know, a bit boring in my opinion. So yeah, I've already scrolled through all this, so I won't bore you guys. I do like that shark one, but again, there's a French flag on it. Um, and we're not French, so <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, the Red Bull ones are the best, man. The Red Bull ones look sick, like that showy. That's awesome, but yeah. I don't know, let me know what you think. I quite like what we're going for at the moment. As I said, response by monster on there, you can see it on the bike. So we kind of need to either have a monster helmet or this aero one that is uh, just not sponsored at all. This is obviously going to change because the livery is going to change, so the, the leathers will change. All that jazz. We're going to stick with the red number 26 because that's still the best 26 I can find on the uh, on the store. Uh, we're going to stick with Dainese leathers, I think. What does the Alpine style run it like? Oh, that's look pretty cool. Those boots are pretty sick. I do like those boots. Mm. Oh, I don't know, actually. I do like that. But Dainese would be probably the, the choice, it being an Italian VR46 bike. So we'll go with that for now. As I said, we're going to go with this turquoise blue kind of thing to match the helmet. Um, I can't change any sliders. I've set it to the same blue color, but uh, it just doesn't change. So again, I'm guessing that's something to do with the update that they need to do still. But obviously we keep it done easy, keep it blue. Rider sticker, we're going to keep that brap one. Number 26, helmet we've already done. Rider, we're obviously still Dougie Decker. So there we go. That's what we're going to do. As I said, it's obviously going to change when they update the livery. Uh, so we'll have a play about a bit. Let me know what you think. I don't even know if any of you care about the customization side of stuff. If you do, happy days. I really like it. Uh, we will maybe do our own team at some point in the series, but I wanted to try and do factory teams this year, um, especially MotoGP, because last MotoGP we, we, we only did our own team. We didn't even get to a factory team before I finished this, the, the series. So anyway, that felt like a lot of me waffling on. Um, we can do a junior team at some point. We haven't quite got enough reputation, so we can't do it quite yet. We need 200,000 reputation. You can see down the bottom there. Don't know if I'll do it. I'll wait and see. Don't know. It costs a lot of money. Uh, and you don't really get very good results. So we'll wait and see. Uh, obviously, to start a new championship, so the standings are zero, everything's reset. Um, how many weeks have we got before we can get to a race? Oh, bloody hundreds. Week nine for LaSalle. We're just going to do the one race in this episode, and then it'll follow Moto3. We'll do two races per every other episode, and that'll lead us all the way up to two races for the last episode of Moto2, which will be Sepang and Valencia again. Uh, I'm still not quite recovered from my croaky voice, so apologies if my voice is a bit rubbish. Um, but yes, yeah, so we need to do some research and stuff, really. We can now do electric... Uh, I mean, why can we do electronics in Moto 2? We don't have any, really. Or do we? And we, but you only get it once you start developing it. Interesting. Well, maybe we should. Uh, how much is uh, how much electronics cost? The first one. Uh, one thousand. Jesus. Oh, that's engine braking. Uh, better wheelie control. Weird. I don't think there's an actual switch to like, you know, you know, when you're in the race and you can change your fuel mapping, and change your engine braking, all that sort of stuff. I don't think there's actually a switch to change this. So unless this just improves it in general and you can't turn it on and off, I don't know. We'll obviously concentrate on engine and frame. Looks like we got a uh, an engine upgrade already. So let's just jump straight in there, get some staff on that one. Automatically assign staff, please, mate. Cool. Apparently that button doesn't work anymore. Add staff. Hello? No? Come back out of this and go back in again. Am I being stupid? No? Alright, automatically signed staff doesn't work apparently. Uh, in Moto2. <laughs> I don't know why. Alright, well, who's good engine then? Uh, 100, 100, 50, 50. I guess we'll put you 4 on it for now. Sounds like it'll take two weeks. Yeah, that'll be alright. We'll do that for now. Cool. That means we've got nobody on engine research though. I don't know. Maybe we'll do we'll do a bit of a mixture this time because last time I just went flat out engine upgrade and then I did frame. But maybe we'll do a bit of a bit of a mixture instead this time. So let's skip on a week. 
and we'll probably just skip on straight away to another week I expect. Oh, we have got some staff management to do. Let me know if you guys are interested in this side of things. I don't know if you guys care. If you don't, then I'll, I'll cut some of this out. Um, now, what's our level at the moment? B plus. Good sign you on, I suppose. You are an A. You do make our electronics and our aerodynamics go down, but our frame is a lot better and engine's the same. Yeah, it's great. Let's hire you, mate. Beautiful. Cool, A's all round, that's not too bad. Uh, nice, and then it looks like we can do some frame upgrades as well, so we'll bang some guys on this one. See, auto assign works on there. Well, I don't want everybody on there, because that's gonna... No, I don't wanna do that. All right, let's just do it manually, screw it. This is such a nightmare, ah. Who's best at frame then? Any 100s for frame? You two, and you two are 50s. That's four weeks for that frame though. God, this is this is this is probably one of the bits I hate about. I don't really enjoy this at all. I know it's like a cool feature sometimes added to the game, but I'm just not a big fan, man. Not a big fan. We we'll just put four people on it for now, because then we'll take the engine guys off and they can help out in a sec. Um, but I want to keep those electronics researching so we can get some anti wheelie because I feel like we're going to need that in uh, in Moto Two. Cool. We'll advance another week. That's going to be the engine done. It's going to be a lot of this faffing about. I'm afraid for a minute. Cool. Ah, oh, I gotta get. I've got a man to get back in here, have I? Oh my god, add staff. Yeah, I know, I know, you don't have to tell me all the details. So, you, 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 get back on there, cool. That's gonna take three weeks still. Let's just leave it at that, let's get some research points up. Looks like we've got some more people, more candidates. No, I've literally just hired somebody, so you are a lot better at the engine, but nope. Yeah, contract management. Got a whole new manager available to us who's better at seeking out offers from teams. Might sign them on actually. Gabrielle. What's our current dude? B. Contract searchability. Yeah, screw it. Sack you as well. New year, new year, new team. Nice. That's that one done as well. Cool. That's another week. Anything gonna be uh, available? Oh god, the engine's available. Let's just jump back in there, do that again then. What's that? Fuel consumption. Now nah, let's save some points. Save some points. Probably put the engine dudes on uh, on this one as well, couldn't I? Get this, get this going. Yeah, it's going to change it down to one week. No, two weeks, one week? Oh, dude, this is so annoying. Right, yeah, you get on there as well then. One week, cool. Bloody hell. Right, advance another week. Frame to be done, lovely jubbly. Right, and then we got some electronics to do. So we'll definitely do some anti wheelie, I think. That sounds like a good plan to me. We'll just put the electronic dudes on there, I think. So who's got the highest electronic numbers? You pair. 10 weeks. Ooh. It's a long time, isn't it? 10 weeks. We'll leave it out for now, though, because we need to improve. I feel like it's going to be more important to improve frame and engine. Uh, cool. Oh, I think we still had some people sleeping, didn't we? Who's not doing nothing? You are you got the Zeds on the go. You got Zeds on the go. Alright, you can do some frame research. And you can. <laughs> this is such a nightmare sometimes, honestly. It worked quite well in Motor 3, so I don't know why the auto assign stuff's not really working. But um anyway, it's all good, it's all good. Alright, advance another week. Let's get this nonsense out of the way as quick as we can. Another staff management upgrade. Dude. All the upgrades. Now, why are we getting so many offers for people when we just sign new people? Can we do anything else on engine? Yes, we can. All right. Get the engine boys back on here. They did a little bit of research for, for five seconds. Probably going to be you, 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 and you. Like I said, if you if you guys don't want to see this, let me know. I'll cut it out because I'll happily cut it out and just blast for it myself. Uh, all right. Another week. Cool, that's how we can do some frame upgrades again, although it's going to be a minimal frame upgrade, so we'll, we'll save that for now. Advance another week. We'll be into a race weekend in a minute. Looks like the next week's going to be race weekend. Can we get that engine done before the next week? Oh, we can put some people on frame though. Nah, we'll just get, we'll get this going as well. Cool, you, 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 and you. You two are already in that one, and you guys did engine. Beautiful. Right, looks like we got a few decent upgrades, to be fair. Right at the beginning of the season, before our... It's not going to be quite in time for Qatar, all of them, but some of them are, which is good. Another contract offer. Probably going to just ignore him. 
Yeah, now you're wearing some of the dude we just signed. Right, happy days. That took way too long, so apologies if you find that boring. Obviously, you could have skipped ahead. You may well have already. But without further ado, let's go to Qatar. First Moto 2 race of the season. Let's see how we get on. I feel like it's going to be difficult. Right, yeah, free practice free is done with. We're top of the table, but take that with a very, very big, a handful of salt. Not a pinch of salt, a handful, because that was on a, a full power mode free lap, and I got it perfect. Like, But every other lap, we were sort of half a second, 0.7 off. We were all like way off. So that was, a, that was a bit of a fluky lap, I think. So, but yeah, top of free practice free, I suppose it's not, it's not nothing to be sniffed at, but let's combined, let's have a quick look. Cool, so we top tight combined as well. Again, take it with a pinch of salt, take it with a pinch of salt. We beat our teammate, Celestino Vietti. Uh, we did a two minute 0.6 and they were on 201s, 0.2. So we, we were quite a lot quicker, but as I said, it was a bit of a fluky lap, I think. Like I, yeah, a bit inconsistent. These motor bikes, are, motor two bikes are a bit of a handful, not gonna lie. Feel like a bit, uh, Bit Larry, definitely got to be a little bit careful with the wheelies and the the back end trying to slide out and stuff. So this could be interesting. This this uh, this race. But yeah, I mean, at least we're going straight through the Q2. That's obviously the aim. Um, I didn't even look at our objectives, but they're pretty they're pretty hard. You you, I think we got to be like front row quali qualifying, and we basically got to be winning races and winning the championship. So we have to step up. No uh, no bad races if you want to keep this contract. But um, yeah, let's go through the Q2 then. See how we do. Here we go then. First Moto 2 qualifying. Let's see what we can do. I know it's just now we are, we're basically matching Vietti with our colour scheme. He's got a little bit of a light blue turquoise going on as well. So I've always seen this somewhere before, obviously in real life. So uh, yeah, copying our teammate a little bit of our style, but uh, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Let's see what we can do then. This is, uh, apart from signing beautiful this Moto 2 bike, it is a bit of a handful, man. Definitely a bit of a handful. As I said already, it's not quite the right colour scheme, but I do quite like this black and uh, black and high vis yellow. So uh, we'll keep it for now. Obviously, we ain't got a choice. Down to turn one, we go. Get it stopped, or well, don't get it stopped. We're going to go very, very wide. All right. I mean, that's not what you want to do on your first uh, first flying lap on a Moto Two bike. I've um, noticed I'm having to shit like change down gear manually myself. Try and get this thing stopped in the corners. You, you just can't. You can't run it in on the brakes, man. It, it feels like the front's gonna go. And if that's just a setup thing, um, I guess it'll improve as we uh, do the upgrades and stuff. But yeah, I've definitely found short shifting down. Well, not short shifting, just shifting down. Definitely helping me get this thing, uh, get it stopped and get it turned in. I have got engine breaker down on one again, same as motor three. So I don't know. It's about not two actually. Just try it. It helps us get it stopped a little bit easier. Yeah, Moto 3 it was it was better with it off, but we'll see we'll see what's like in Moto 2. We're a little bit off the pace, I think, on this lap. It's a bit of a messy lap. Not a very messy through there. Yeah, I don't know, man. They're tough. They're tough. These these bikes, man. They're going to be it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve compared to Moto 3 again. I mean, it was the same at the start of Moto 3. We also did terrible in the first uh, first three races. Sound good though. Yeah, like I can't get anywhere near an apex. This is what I mean. That that, that lap in a uh, free practice free. That that was a bit of a fluky lap, I think. Oh, we are under the time though. Oh no, I looked up at the timing screen. Should have been concentrating on the track. Sorry, it's coming up anchor lap. This should hopefully be alright. The difficulty is on seventy percent, so I've dropped it back down again just for now, just so while we get our bearings. So that might also be why it looks quite good in free practice. Like I said before, I don't want to be running around at the back, but I don't want to be winning all the time. So we'll put it up, we'll put it down, we'll see how we go. Anyway, alright, first lap done. Let's see where that puts us. Is that P4? P4? Alright, not too bad, not too bad. We'll definitely take that for our first qualifying session. Get drift wide at turn one again, though. Do another quick lap just while we're on it. Might as well. OBA up in front of us, probably a good little, uh, good little carrot to try and follow. Yeah, we're definitely a little bit. Oh, I left the brakes too early. Ah, this is what I mean. You've got to be so careful, man. No traction control in a uh, Moto 2. Hardly any electronic aids at all, which is why I was surprised to see that anti wheelie uh, development option. I'm guessing that's not a switch you can flick. I'm guessing that's just a permanent kind of upgrade to the bike. I'm sure that's what it was like in a uh, Moto GP 21 anyway. I'm sure they did, yeah. They've already got any electronics on these bikes. Which is crazy, really. 750 
well, pretty much, CC, triple engine, Ugh, try of triple, 765 is, isn't it, not 750, oh baby, mate, you're actually going a little bit slow, I'm catching you up, right in the wrong part of the track as well, and I want to be flowing through these corners, oh dude, you are right in my way now, We're gonna keep any more time or we're gonna lose it all. We messed up last time to fair, so we're still we're still Oh yeah no we're way up on our time, way up on our time. Uh, gonna get a bit wide into the final corner. Don't know if we're doing that in the race, but I mean that's nearly half a second quicker. That's gonna be not quite pole I don't think, but we're gonna be up in the top three, which we'll definitely take. We have got to get front row I think as I said. P2, P2, alright, we'll leave it there I think, we'll leave it there, I don't think I'm going to get much better than that, um, I'll head back to the pits, I'll see you in a minute. Ah, nightmare, I should have gone back out, I should have gone back out, I was risking it, I was winding down the time a little bit and it was alright, but uh, all of a sudden these boys put in some, some speedy laps man, Aaron Canet, P1, Jorge Navarro, Tony Obelino, Jake Dixon, Bo Ben Schneider, and then us, we're still, uh, you know, best of our teammates, Vietti's behind us, and then, uh, I don't even know our other teammate is, but he's not even in the, uh, the top 18. We have got to do first row for qual for qualifications. That is that's a tough objective, man. Bit savage, isn't it? First row in row two every week. That's that's pretty difficult. Um, we're row two, obviously. Back of row two. We're only point one off, so it's a close field. Look at look how close all their times are. <sighs> it's gonna be a tough class. Gonna be a tough class. Anyway, right. Let's get into the race. I got a horrible feeling it's gonna be gonna be really hard, but uh, let's go find out. Here we go then. Canet, Navarro, Arbolino, Dixon, Ben Schneider, and then us. These are top six. Let's have a little look through. We've got Vietti, Robert, Schrotter, Baltas, Lowe's, Fernandez, top 12. Okoba, Fanati, Bobier, Acosta, Salach, Chantra, Kubo, Ramirez, Agura, Aldeguer, Corsi. Ah, that was our teammate and I still missed his name. Damn. And everybody else. Everybody else coming through the pack. This is going to be tough, I think. This is going to be tough. We'll, uh, we'll see how we get on. We are basically matching Vietti's uh, style, aren't we? We're exactly the same. Dainese kit. Shame we can't get a number 26 in blue. Uh, he's got his standard black AGV on there by looks of it, because they've not updated that yet, obviously. Exciting lap complete. Anyway, it's right. Now, one thing you do have to do, Matt Teal, add a little practice, you've got to be really careful off the start. Not that careful, though, mate. Not that careful. Oh, they got away a bit. They hooked up better. Boom, straight to the front. All right, we'll take that. You've got to be really careful, though. It's so easy to, uh, to loop out off the start. Honestly, it's insane. If you full throttle it with the clutch in, you uh, you go flying off the back of the bike. Or at least it did when I um, was on the little little time attack practice. Alright, I mean we're up into P1. We'll take that for now. I don't know how long that's going to last to be honest. Unless uh, the difficulty is all messed up and they're, they're quicker in quality than they are in the race. Which is going to be annoying if it is, because I don't want to be messed about the difficulty and chatting about it all the time, because that's all I bloody do. Well, that looks like that could be the case, though, because we're already a second ahead. Really? Really? We're P6 in quality, and we're already... No, we're not going to be a second ahead by the end of the... this corner, apparently, because I completely messed that up. What we've got to do? Five laps. Yeah, as I said, this one's just going to be a one race episode. We will do two races an episode, like we did in Motor 3. Um, I'll keep them short for now, just so we can have two an episode and it doesn't take me, uh, I mean these take like an hour to film an episode pretty much if I do two races, this one's taken, for, like, going to be nearly an hour for some reason, just from messing about and practicing and stuff, spent a little bit more time in free practice free to be fair, just to get used to the bike, than I normally would. Ooh. I mean... To get our season off to a good start, I'll take a win, but I don't want I didn't I didn't think we're gonna be winning. I was expecting a bit of a battle. I was expecting to, you know, struggling to be on the podium. Let's wait and see, let's wait and see. Maybe it'll uh the AI will come back to us in a minute. Plenty of time for us to make a mistake. But yeah, I didn't wanna didn't really want to run away with it, run, bleh, run away with it on our first uh, Moto 2 race, but never mind. I think we look cool man. I think we look cool with that arrow helmet. If anyone's got any more suggestions, like I said, let me know. But I actually quite like the, uh, the look of that. We'll see what it looks like with the orange when we get the Mooney, Mooney uh, sponsorship and the, the proper livery and stuff. A bit wide at turn one.
Definitely sound good though, these Moto 2 bikes. I'll shut up a minute, yeah, let you have a little listen. Yeah man, sounds good, sounds good. Beautiful sound little machines. We're doing alright man, they've not, um, they've not caught us up on this lap at all. We're, we're now 1.3 ahead, so I... Difficulty's gonna have to go up, innit? Difficulty's gonna have to go up, we're just gonna have to deal with qualifying and... Repractice. I mean, I could've, I definitely could've done better in qualifying. So, I should've gone back out really, but I was, I was being lazy. And I was whizzing on the time, thinking, ah, oh, P2 P or whatever we were in. Bloody happy days, first race. We'll definitely take that. And then, uh... All of a sudden, they smashed in a load of ridiculously fast laps so um, yeah I reckon we could do better so maybe it is maybe we'll bump up 75% next time and we'll see how we do we're on a pretty good team obviously as well which is going to help we were on a pretty uh, low low team in Moto3 to begin with obviously we spec that bike up to uh, its maximum pretty much um, but yeah at the start of the season when we were really struggling obviously it was a brand new game as well I was still getting used to it we were on a pretty slow bike though so Maybe that's what, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. There's no point guessing. But yeah, it's all good, it's all good. This is going to be a cool class, man. I like, uh, I'm glad we signed for VR46. Let me know what you guys think. Would you have preferred me to go for somebody else? Unfortunately, it kind of all just came upon me at once, and I um, I know I did mention it in a few, oh my god, a few episodes, but uh, it was kind of all of a sudden I had to make a decision just because I had to record a load of them back to back just to catch up with everything. So unfortunately, you guys didn't really get a choice. I don't know if you were that bothered, but um, if you were, apologies. I'll try and uh, get like a poll going for MotoGP stuff a little bit earlier this time. Give you guys a bit more of input if you wish. By all means, let me know what um, what brand at least you want us to go on for MotoGP. We obviously got an entire season to go. But uh, yeah, you can at least let me know what brand you want us to go on, and then we can see what offers we get. We were getting offers obviously from Moto3 to go directly to MotoGP, and I was I was very tempted to do it, but. I think it might have been a bit of a big step, and uh, it'd be nice to have got a Moto2 bike, so obviously do, do it. I know there's a few riders that have done it, obviously Jack Miller's done it, went from Moto3 to MotoGP. And obviously most recently, Darren Binder's done the uh, the same thing. I think it's a bit easier when Jack did it, because he, you know, he went to that customer Honda... Um, it was LCR, wasn't it, but it was... Oh no, it was Mike VDS, was he on Mike VDS first? But it was, um, what were they called? I can't remember, Sat not Satellite. Um, Oh, what was that era of MotoGP where they had those terrible, terrible bikes? CRT? Yeah, CRT I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was. If it wasn't CRT, let me know. Why have I, I've just completely forgotten. But yeah, they were like less, lower respect, crappy... Well, most of them are crap. The Honda was rubbish. Yeah, but it was like it's kind of his own class, wasn't it? Or like they'd have their own podium and stuff, I don't know. It's weird. But yeah, so that's when Jack went and did Moto3 to MotoGP. Whereas uh, Darren Binder's gone from a Moto3 bike straight up to uh, a Yamaha M1, which is probably arguably the, the one of the better bikes to jump onto from a Moto3 bike, obviously. It's, you know, better handling, etc. Supposedly, anyway. Although you wouldn't know it. Bobby and uh, Morbidelli haven't exactly uh, done a lot on it. The fact he's, like, not a lot slower than those two is... Uh, I think fair play to him. Like he's done really well, Darren Binder. Uh, those two aren't doing very well at all, obviously. Dobby's coming off of a uh, riding a Ducati for God knows how long, and a Honda before that. And uh, what was he on Yamaha? He was on Yamaha at some point. Was it before Honda? I can't remember. And uh, Morbidelli's just—I don't know. I guess he's just not quite clicked with it for some reason, which is weird because he was, you know, second in the championship not too long ago behind Mir. Still not got no idea what's going on with Suzuki, not heard any news, again, I'm recording this probably a little bit before you see it, so there may well be some news before uh, you watch this, and I'll be talking in the past, but um, yeah, still no official, well, I mean, the fact that Dorna put a, a, a notice up obviously kind of makes it official, but nothing official, official, you know I mean, no one's actually officially said, yes, we're leaving this year, see you later. Right, making a few mistakes here. Let's uh, let's concentrate a minute. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. 
Yeah, apologies everybody. I was expecting this to be a bit of a battle for our first episode. I was not expecting to be out front leading the, uh, leading the pack. Looks like they are on my tail though, all of a sudden. Right then, found it straight. We're going to be going to the last lap. They've closed the gap a little bit, 0.7. Pretty slow lap from us by the looks of it. We were about 0 0.4, 0 0.3 off of our own time. So, uh, yeah, could have been better. Definitely could have done better. Listen to that gearbox, man. That's me shifting down again, as I said. Definitely seems to help if anyone's struggling with it too. I know it's difficult to, uh, if you're not used to a manual gearbox. Even in semi-automatic, if you just shift down, definitely helps, definitely helps. Plus, it's a good way to learn. I'm definitely finding I'm using the gearbox more. Still nice to have that semi-automatic there, just in case I uh, get to do something or, you know. Obviously gets you out of uh, errors if you forget to change down or you forget to change up and stuff. Does uh, does help. It's a good good in-between. But yeah, changing down definitely helps. It looks like we've put some uh, time back into these boys again. I can't believe it, mate. Dougie Decker's going to win his first Moto 2 race he's ever participated in. In, well, in, in the uh, 22 season. We struggled in uh, 21, to be honest. We struggled in MHB 21 with Moto 2. So I'm surprised. That's why I'm surprised. That's why I'm really surprised. Oh, mate, we've got plenty of fuel left. Let's have a little bit of power mode 3. Definitely catch them up through that bit, don't they? Went silent for there, sorry. Concentrating. Yeah, a second gear, mate. See, changed down too much, and now I've short shifted up too much. I say downside to semi automatic because it does it just before you do, and then you end up doing it twice. Anyway, we're going to take a win, mate. We're going to take our first win in Meta 2. Comfortably, I'd say, as well. Like, I mean, they're there. They're there or thereabouts, but we are. It's going to be over a second across the line. Tires lasted not too bad. That was a medium and a hard rear, don't think I said that. But yeah. Mate, too, mate. First win, Qatar VR46. Beautiful. Happy bloody days. We will take that 100%, man. Race objective was a podium, as I said. I thought it was. And uh, we got first place. You can't complain about that. 202.8 we were doing. These boys are in 203s. I'm guessing somebody down the back put in a fast lap. Yeah, Ramirez put 202.8. So, 823. So, we were literally... Yeah, we were on record that pace. So, we... we that's that difficulty level's not too bad. It's just a little bit too... Easy for Qatar, but you know, we've got to go to Portimao, Kota next. That'll be the next episode, those two races, I believe. Uh, and I'm not a big fan of those tracks, so that could be interesting. But we will 100% take a win. Championship wise, we're going to be on top, obviously. 25 points, beautiful. Canuck second, Bo Ben Schneider third. Uh, Vietti is down in uh, P9, 18 points behind us. Who's our other teammate? Oh, Antonelli, of course it's Antonelli. Yeah, he didn't have a good race. 26th place, Jesus, not good at all, mate, not good at all. Who are, the, uh, who are the main contenders, I suppose? It's going to be Lowe's, isn't it, normally? Dixon, Arbolino. Where are the, um, where are the KTM boys at? Fernandez down in 10th. Trotter, not Fanati. Costa, obviously new to the season this year, new to the class year. In real life, Agura and Chantra are obviously doing very well on the uh, Idemitsu Honda team. Yeah, the main, main rivals, though, are going to be our teammate, Rieti, Lowe's, Navarro, maybe, can it? Yeah, I don't know, weird. Anyway, Qatar, race win. VR46, Moto2, what, what, what more do you want, mate? What more do you want? Apparently, the game thinks we were we were rubbish. We won the race, and it's telling me to turn the difficulty down to 55, which is uh, complete nonsense. I guess that's based on qualifying, maybe? I don't know. Weird. Anyway, we're not going to do that. We're going to turn it up a little bit, I think. There we go, lads and lasses. That's a weekend done. We're, um... Oh, let's have a look at this. Probably might as well. We'll have to do it next time out, then, do we? Engine upgrades. I'm going to wait and do the, uh... Have ah, we already got two? We're going to be pretty fast on this bike, aren't we? I think we've already done two engine upgrades. We're going to do that one as well. Get the torque up. We'll wait until we'll wait for that, and then we'll, uh, yeah, do torque again, and then we'll maybe work on these free fuel ones at some point. Frame stop upgrading. Electronics are going to take a while to do, but then I guess if we've done the engine, we can bang people on there. So, yeah, definitely, definitely. Oh, looks like we've got no one doing anything actually. Let's add some staff on here. You boys are all sleeping. Might as well do this now. Then you'd have, I'd have to do it next episode then. Happy days, cool. Pretty sure that should be everybody doing something. There we go, nicely done. 
Hopefully you enjoyed. I certainly did. That was good. That was good fun. Um, as I said, I'll make it a bit more difficult. We'll see if it's any better uh, next time out. We'll be going to, let's have a quick look, Mandalika and Argentina. So God knows what I was on about, saying so Porto Mar and Austin. That's the, the two after that. Got about Mandalika. Didn't do very well there because it was a new track, so that's going to be a tough one actually. And um, Argentina, we did alright in Mo3, I think. I know that track, so we should do alright there, hopefully. Yeah, I forgot. I don't know why I thought it was these two. Then we get into the European rounds, and that's when we start becoming really good, hopefully. So we'll wait and see. But yeah, all right, fair enough. Mandalika and Terminus de Rio Hondu. Next time out. As I said, hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave some comments down below. Give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss out on a future episode of MotoGP 2022 and anything else we've got going on. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.